uh, welcome back to the next video. Today, Parker is going to share her tiny home on wheels. Uh, we met her and interviewed her earlier, and now we're going to actually get to see her tiny home on wheels. So, Parker, do you mind if we come in and take a look around? I hope you do. Please, let's do that. You do have a long height. You're way up in the air. I know. I know. You know all about that. I know. I, it took me forever to figure out a ladder solution. So this is the, the home you've created for yourself. Yeah. And it's uh, really nice inside. Uh, two by fours or two by two construction? Two by four in the rear. Can't remember why. <laughs> <laughs> two by threes all around. 2x6 is down below, 2x6 is up top, and fully insulated with, with sheep's wool. Sheep's wool? Yes, because I'm from the Pacific Northwest, oh. and things get wet. You can't avoid it, and sheep's wool insulates even when it's wet, and it doesn't degrade, it doesn't rot, and other critters don't like it. It's lightweight, it's not allergenic, it's not toxic, and I happen to have a bunch, so, you know, that I bought for that other tiny home that I was building when I kind of did my thing so I was I wasn't about to just abandon it so yeah yeah sheep's wool good good it's, good I love it and uh, it's uh, it's hot and it seems pretty comfortable in here now um it seems to run about 10 degrees cooler than ex the exterior outside heat you've got that fan on and I can feel a little breeze and it's surprisingly comfortable in here yeah the fan oh, fan makes all the difference it does yeah Moving if there's there. no breeze it gets pretty sad. Yes. Yeah. And it looks like you've used a lot of home furniture. Actually, yeah. This this I I grabbed because I had it and my mother had it actually. And it fit the space and it was super it was cheap because it was free. That's good. <laughs> it's attractive, easy to mount, etc. However, it weighs about 300 pounds oh my so it's coming out and instead i'm putting in you know sterilite drawers that weigh nothing and aren't particularly pretty but you know i mean they they're, they're lightweight and you're already heavy oh my god yes oh uh, yeah so everything 11, else you can say i'm about I, it's i had it weighed i had to anyway officially and i was curious and it's um it's just about at about 11 and 5. Which isn't really all that bad for a no, one ton. No, considering the truck itself weighs quite a bit. And did uh, you ahead. have any insurance problems getting it insured? Yes, but I finally found a, a, an insurance company, Geico. And so is this a shower here behind you, that, or will be a shower? That's your plan? This is my embarrassingly large closet with an embarrassing large amount of clothing and boots and dresses and stuff. And this, and honestly, this is about a third of what I started out with two weeks ago. So I'm maybe more will go as time goes by, but but for now it's mine, and I will not let it go. <laughs> um, I just well, with men, it's tools sometimes, and I have so many books tools. Books to or I'm making strides. Good. Yeah. And well, that's what you have to do. That's normal. What you're doing is normal. Leaving with too much. Uh, and getting rid of it as you go. That's very, very normal. Apparently, it's a rite of passage. It is. That's yeah. what I'm hearing. Everyone I know has done something like that. Yeah, yeah. But actually, your question is, I would, I would like to, I would like to build in a little bathroom, especially a little shower area. And yeah, it could be here. But I'm thinking it will be here because of the window. Right. So, I'm th and it won't be something that's like walled off. It would be something more like this where I could push it back and, and still get the breeze. Yes. But once all this is gone and once I figure out how to, how to like organize my electronic stuff and my water stuff, you know, figure that out, this space I think could be put to better use. So let's, and you got a kitchen here. Yep. Okay. So this, um, this I got at one of the big box stores. Um, I bought this. I, I turned it upside down and reinforced the bottom because they're so badly made. They're so fragile. And um, now I could, so I could have water tanks in there and not have it actually fall through the floor. And then I got this at the same place and cut it and cut out the sink, got the sink, put the sink in and plumbed it in which took a long time. Plumbing things in is, is, is a little bit more complicated than I thought. Um, so there's my wastewater tank hiding in there and that I'm working on a way to do my, my fresh water better right now. I'm using the jugs, but this, and I have another tall one. This is what I want to use for this because 
um, it's super nice having water be able to come out of a sink. It's a non-powered marine um, marine pump uh -huh. thing. So uh, and I and it does work. Oh, it works great. When I do have it hooked up, when I do have the water in there, it works great. And so you do have solar. I have a lot of solar. How much solar do you have? 640 watts on the roof. That's a lot of solar. And 600 amp hours in batteries. That's a lot, yes. Yeah. I have a lot of... <laughs> yeah. You have plenty of solar. I have so many, yeah. <laughs> you can run a small city. Yeah, well, maybe a really small really city. Really small city. But I have a fridge. Here's my little fridge. Love my little fridge. Oh, yeah. That's uh, ARB? No, no uh, this is a Dometic. Dometic, yep. It's the one that does not have the Danfoss um, compressor. It's got their own. It works really well, though. Um, love my fridge. And I don't see a stove. Oh, it's right here. It's I just covered. Also, I used to, I think probably because I used to race sailboats, um, I got used to marine quality things, which are better. Definitely than better. Things. Yes. No, far, so, by far. Yeah. And they, they're, they're made to last. They tend to be expensive, but they're made to last and they work. So, hence, that and this and this is actually a marine alcohol stove uh -huh. it's um it does make it does blacken the bottom of your pans which prep i guess propane doesn't do no but it's a really clean energy it doesn't put off fumes other than water so it's it's super easy to use it's got a ton of power it heats up stuff really fast and it has only a little odor which isn't offensive and how do you where does the uh, alcohol go it goes pours in yeah i'll show you um, this flips up. Ah. Let me make sure I don't spill my coffee again. That would be a tragedy. So they go into these. The, the you just pour it into this and this one. And these little guys came with it. And once they're filled, you put that on there. This compresses it so it doesn't evaporate out. So you just fill this up, and that lasts me between one of these between two weeks and a month. Oh my! And alcohol's cheap. Yes, it is. That's one of the re that's the other reason I went is because no matter what, you can always get alcohol. You use denatured alcohol. I use. I was using stuff made that for this specifically, super expensive, and now I use. I cannot remember, but I think it is the denatured, and it's Probably. like eighteen or twenty-four dollars for a big can, and which is enough to last me like three months or so, four mm -hmm. months. Super cheap super cheap i really like it i love this stove i highly recommend it and i love your shelves up here you can see where everything is and right there and handy and easy to get to they're closet shelves right they also make fixed ones which i'm thinking of putting here but um along where that you know those shelves are coming out mm -hmm. but for this these are great and, um i just i just put this little velcro thing so that when i come back in after moving they're not all you know yes they would be out <laughs> yeah yeah um but yeah they're these are great and they're pretty sturdy and I'm obviously parked on a slant right now. Right. <laughs> Oops. So there's that. And your bed. My bed. My gigantic bed area. That's a big bed. It is a big. And if you look behind, the cat is still back there somewhere. Uh, the cat's back over here hiding out. Yeah, he's, he's hanging out in the hot spot because he's crazy that way. And then look at this uh, skylight. That is amazing. Old oak door. Wow. Really heavy. That is probably the heaviest thing up there, including the solar. How cool. You can lay in bed at night and uh, and watch the the stars and the... Yes, and the moon. And the moon? Yes. I love looking up and seeing the moon. And it's got a double... I layered it on the outside with, uh, not lucite, but something. Plexiglass? Is something one of those kind of things Lexan that one that one and so it's actually got an air gap so it it actually holds heat in during the cold weather I bet it does and for I found something that works terrific to keep the wet sun out and it's the same thing that I've got on the the truck one of those exterior solar covering things works really great on that and it's so easy to put on and so every afternoon I stick it on there when the sun's right overhead totally cools the inside down still pops up lets the air through because that thing pulling up like that scoops air right in here makes a cross breeze it's great well I that's love my why it's 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 up it's yep. popped completely up that's why I, I went over and raided your wood pile ah it's got one up there right now ah. um that thing makes it better it just makes life better right yeah i love my skylight yeah i can see why 
and the big old uh, nice corner unit here. Yep, got that's my kitchen and there's my overflow food because I, I bought too much. <laughs> Don't we all? Yeah. Um, I have outlets hiding on either side behind this. And one's down by the door, super handy. And one's in the back corner, super handy. And your uh, solar center here. Yeah, yeah, here, if you'd like to see. I don't know if you'd like to see the battery set up. Sure, you said you had four golf carts? No, these are, these are, these aren't golf carts. They are, they're AGM Lifeline, 300 amp hour, it's a little tight. It needs to lose weight too. Okay, there we go. All right, um, this is just to kind of keep the cat mm -hmm. off of it. Oh my. Yeah. And I helped wire everything. It's... Well, that's... Uh, they weigh about $2,000 worth of batteries? Um, I was given the dealer rate. I only had to pay about 1200 no, about 1300 That's That's a screaming deal. Uh, yes, it is. Lifeline is the best battery you can buy. I... I went a little insane on my solar system. <laughs> you will never, ever regret it. No, I'm, I, I love it. And you know who I went with was AM Solar, and I love them. Yes, I, they have an incredible reputation. Yeah. They, 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 they didn't get me my batteries. I got them separately, but I got the rest of the system from them. Well done. Did you, inst you helped install it? I helped install it. That's well done. And it looks nice too. It looks really Thanks. nice. Thanks. I uh, I wanted something access. I wanted it accessible and yet not so accessible accessible that I was going to be stepping on them and tripping over them and breaking them. There we go. And of course, because I'm a girl, you got to have the soft, cute things, right? All right. Sure. <laughs> home, it's home. It is homey. It feels like home. I uh, yeah. Good. I, I really, it is my home and it feels like my home. It doesn't feel like a temporary hiding spot at all. Right. You just, oh, you'd live here the rest of your life. Yeah. Easily. Yeah. And move. I'd modify things. Oh, sure. I'd give myself a shower. Whatever. Yeah. It is, like I said, it's just as much my home as anywhere I've ever lived. Well, it's really amazing. You've done a fantastic job. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much for sharing your home with us. You're welcome. And, uh. I'm just astounded how what a wonderful job you've done. This would be something I'd be delighted to live in the rest of my life. So folks, there you have it. You too. You too can do this. It's not out of your reach. Parker, do you mind if I ask how much you've invested? The truck. $4,000. I already owned it. Got it for a different purpose. But, you know, it's part of it. I put about $2,000, no, now about $3,000 in it, upkeep, repairs, whatever. So there's the truck. The build. I had some of the stuff already. I had probably about $2,000 worth of supplies already. The rest of it, about $5,000 based on the receipts that I kept. So not a lot. So I'm trying to run in that, do a running tally in my head, which my head's not up Let's to. Let's see. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah, 14, 15,000 at the most. At the most. And a complete home you own outright. Yes. On wheels, turn the key, drive away. Right. And a lot of sweat. Yeah, but an awful lot of, a lot of feeling of accomplishment. A lot of love. A lot of love went into this. Yeah, and it's something to be very, very proud of forever. Yeah. I finished it. Nobody thought I'd finish yeah. it. I finished it. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Parker. What an, what an inspiration you are to everyone out there listening that they too can, can follow their dreams and live the life they want. Mm -hmm. So thanks everyone for watching. I hope you've been inspired and you're ready to go out there and buy a truck and pick up a hammer and a screw gun and make yourself your own home. And until our next video, uh, like us on YouTube, subscribe to our channel, and we'll visit with you next time. Bye now.